Good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Gary's Movie Aporium. Today's another Dollar Tree haul here. Uh, I hope everybody had a great, good, and, or good or great Thanksgiving. Um, it was kind of a bad luck one for me. Uh, found out a main player in Impact Wrestling or TNA Wrestling at the time, uh, Bob Ryder, uh, who's like a major front office guy for Impact Wrestling, uh, passed away with his after a battle with cancer. Uh, and then my son got an inner ear infection, and both NFL games yesterday uh, for the Thanksgiving Classic were very poorly played games. They were sloppy. Just felt like the day was like bad all the way around in my house. It just ugh, I just couldn't wait to get the day over with. But uh, enough on the holiday. Oh, let's bring on Christmas. Hopefully, Christmas is better in my house this you know in a, in a month. <laughs> but uh. Not a lot of good things happen on Thanksgiving. Uh, so let's get started on the Dollar Tree haul here. First up is a movie starring Richard Dreyfus, Tatiana Masolani. Uh, Richard Dreyfus was an Academy Award winner, while Tatiana Masolani uh, is a Golden Globe nominee. Uh, he wanted a peaceful trip, he got her instead. Cass. Cass and Dylan at Jason Priestley film. I didn't know Jason Priestley uh, did this. Uh, when the self-proclaimed loner and terminally ill, Dr. Cass Pepper reluctantly agrees to give aspiring writer and social misfit Dylan Morgan a ride home. The last thing he expects is that they will end up on a cross-country journey together. The two unlikely companions hit the road and encounter a series of bizarre twists and turns along the way. This unexpected adventure opens their eyes to life's most important lessons, and they end up uh, finding friendship in the last place they ever would have looked. To me, it sounds like this plot could have almost been a What About Bob too, with <laughs> Dr. Leo Marvin going across country with uh, Bob and maybe finally accepting Bob for who he is, maybe. I don't know. That that would have been the way. I I think I would have looked into that plot. That I think that would have made for a good movie. So I would have loved to see the chem on-screen chemistry of uh, Bill Murray and uh, Richard Dreyfuss. But they saved that plot for Kat, Cass and, D and Dylan here. So um, that... Is a comedy, 90 minutes, 5.1, and it's an E from E1. Next up, I got a DVD interactive game from Hogwarts Challenge. It's a great family adventure with your DVD remote. Had to pick it up. It's Harry Potter. I saw another one. I could have grabbed it, but I wasn't sure, you know, that anyone would have been interested in that. Uh... It's a whole new way to play. All you need is your DVD player remote to play 14 different games with up to four with up to four players. Destiny is in your hands. So has a wandering wand option here. Quidditch tryouts and uh, potion power on the back. So looks like it has some different adventures you can play in this DVD game here. Can't complain about it. Like I said, it's Harry Potter. Even if I don't end up playing it, it can go along with the Harry Potter set that I have. It's from uh, 2007 Warner Brothers on this. The next up, got um, kind of looks like a drama here. It's called Windstorm Wilder Than Her Dreams. This is a Viva Entertainment one as well. 106 minutes on this one from 2013. After running into trouble, teenager uh, Micah's parents cancel her summer camp plans and cast her off to the countryside to live with her strict grandmother and her grandmother's horse stables. Micah enters the world or the wild stallion windstorm or encounters the wild stallion windstorm, a horse no one has been able to tame against against all warning. Micah reaches out to 
or Mika, I think it's Mika, wins Storm and ignites a powerful friendship that leads her to the true passion and the ability to tame even the wildest of beasts. And that's Windstorm. I've seen that, that in several of the stores in this haul. And I got one here with a slipcover. Really shiny one at that. Pretty happy about that. It's uh, Sammy Turtle Paradise Celebrate Good Times. This too was from Momentum Pictures. And Studio Canal according to the back here. 75 minutes pretty much self-explanatory it's a children's title or, or a child at heart's title uh, basically an undersea adventure that, by the looks the entire time kind of like a cheap knockoff of Finding Nemo or uh, oh kind of like um, different you know different uh, you know like kids undersea movies here that's basically what this is gonna be like I would assume but I was pretty happy to get it with a slip there and next up another uh, a, a ser more serious movie here starring Heather Graham uh, my dead boyfriend best relationship ever Ho shows Heather on the front here holding a, a cream of whatever you want to call it Must be that's her boyfriend that's in that. Mary's life has been defined by a string of temp jobs and half-hearted attempt to become a writer, but all the challenges when she comes home to find her boyfriend dead in front of the TV set during her misadventures and trying to get rid of her his ashes, including accidentally becoming the bassist in a rock band, bonding with the dog he left behind, and awkward encounters with numerous ex-lovers. Mary discovers there was much more to her couch potato boyfriend than she, than she ever thought imaginable. It's rated R for language and sexual content. Uh, 89 minutes on this one from Orion Pictures and Momentum Pictures as well. A lot of momentum in this uh, wave here. But uh, looks kind of interesting. Kind of looks like it flirts with kind of like comedy horror in a sense because of the uh, dead boyfriend and stuff. But uh, next up, Max 2, White House Hero. I don't know why they went this way with Max because I really love the first one. I got this because I had I seen the first one and I thought I'd try the second one out. But it kind of looks like they made this kind of hokey, have them being at the White House. I love the first one. I thought the story was very compelling, but I have a feeling this one's going to go for the more lightheartedness, and I don't like that direction for this. Uh, it's 85 minutes. Probably would have been best served to just not even touch a sequel, or, you know, have a sequel to such a great first one. Uh, it has a special features for Max 2, A Rough Life. Kids on the Case, The Making of Max 2. But, uh, pretty basic here. Uh, it's from 2017. And, like I said, it's from Orion Pictures in conjunction with Warner Brothers. But, uh, and it's dub approved here too, guys. Maybe it'll be better than, I, than I'm hoping, but I just don't think it'll hold a candle to the first one. I love the first one. Uh, and then we got the Games Maker. And I got this with a slip. I was really... Really happy that we got slips a little bit more often this time in the in the phase here, the wave. Isn't it identical there? It says make your move. Uh this this kid here played uh Bruce Wayne in uh Gotham right there. Um, this is 112 minutes, another Momentum Pictures. It says, Master the Game. Young Ivan's new newfound love 
of board games catapults him into the fantastical and competitive world of game invention. But when an evil games master attempts to destroy the world Ivan's created, he must rise up against his nemesis and risk losing everything to win the game. Uh, looks like it has Ed Asner in it as well. Yeah, Mr. Fredrickson himself's in this. Pretty happy about that. Here, there's Ed Asner right, right there. You can see that there too good. And it has that kind of like shiny, glossy look to it as well but oh that's the games maker I'm pretty happy to get that I saw that in a few stores this time around as well and then next up we got a movie starring Steve Lemmy or Steve Leem Leamy Steve Gutenberg Beverly D'Angelo who played in the uh, vacation movies as uh Ellen Griswold, Alfonso Ara, Aro. Uh, I love Shaky. This is a family of uh, Dove approved movie. Downloadable activity kit included a family comedy for all breeds. So I don't know if it's a dog loving movie or has quite a bit of special features on it. Um, it's from Phase Four Films here from 2011. 102 minutes. <laughs> It uh, has the making of Heart Shaky. Oh, oh, the making of I Heart Shaky. Character featurettes, hilarious outtakes, official teaser and trailer, downloadable activity kit, as I mentioned, pet, fire P pet finder PSAs, epilepsy information package, and more. So, that's a lot for a physical, you know, DVD disc here. Just hope the quality doesn't suffer for it. Hoping not. Then next up, kind of random here, based on what I've showed so far. Um, it's a movie called Forbidden Empire. Kind of has that Marvel look to the cover a little bit. A fantastic journey into the heart of darkness. Kind of comes off like a... Um, trying to think of his name. Yeah, I can't remember what hero he is, but kind of comes off like a, you know, powerful, kind of like, a, not like Captain Marvel, but um, I can't remember his name. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any of his movies out to see yet, but he reminds me a lot of, uh, oh, like Loki here or whatever. I don't know if that's what this is like, but it takes place in the 18th century. Explorer sets out on an epic journey to map the forbidden, uncharted uh, lands of Transylvania, only to discover its dark secrets and dangerous creatures hidden in a cursed fantastical forest. Uh, another E1 on this one, guys. Um, 111 minutes. It has, uh, like, CGI giants, uh, CGI... Weird looking little bats here. Um, 5.1 dip Dolby Digital. So, should have good sound in this one. Has a making of featurette, Jason Fleming interview, behind the scenes footage, and a trailer on the back here. It says, as you can see, like there's a. Yes, yeah, like a CGI. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, like a, not a dwarf, but uh, kind of like a Shrek, like an ogre kind of thing going on there. And like there's the bat, that CGI bat that has a really big mouth there. But it kind of has that mystical power look movie to it. Then next up, I got a movie starring Luke Evans, Nick Frost, Gemma Ar 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 Arterton, Arterton. Bill Nike, Nike, and Charlie D'Angelo, D'Amelio, man, there's some wicked names on that one, Star Dog and Turbo Cat, uh, this too is a Kids Viva PG here, from 2019, 
Launched into space by a scientist owner in 1969. Loyal dog buddy crash lands in the present day in a small town where the pets are no longer welcome. Desperate to be reunited with his owner, Buddy recruits a tech whiz cat named Felix, and together they embark on a daring madcap adventure starring Luke Evans, Nick Frost, Gemma Arditon, Bill Nagy, Star Dog, and Turbo Cat as a hilarious animated tale about friendship, heroism, and the bond between a pet and owner. So, kind of has that superhero animated feel to it here. Kind of like in the vein of like the Incredibles without the budget, I guess you could say. And then next up, I got B uh, BBC Earth here, Shark Battlefield. It's a, uh, like I said, it's a DVD. Um, Fifty minutes on this one. That's the only bad part. Two thousand fourteen. Basically, it's cutting edge underwater photography that was done with graphic uh, reveals a battleground that plays host to nature's version of a submarine warfare and they dive into this desk here I guess hide and seek battle tactics as they unfold and understand the battery of senses at a shark's disposal revealing how they use them to locate and hone in on its prey I guess I guess they study the shark and how they go about attacking something or how they're analyzing you know what what you know, sets a shark off on a eating rampage or what whatnot, but sounds interesting. That's Battlefield Shark. Kinda inappropriate with all these kids' titles, but I just grabbed the Emporium 17 here and I just went with it. Next up here it's uh Truck Trucks vs. Wild, the Adventures of Chuck and Friends. Take a ride in the fun lane with Chuck and his friends in 10 new episodes. A bonus includes a sing-along. Uh, apparently this was seen on Hub Network, so. Like I said, it has a, this is a Shout Kids, by the way, guys, so you can land this. You got a Shout on your hands here. It's a brand new sing-along, like I said, 110 minutes, 2.0 stereo. Uh, saying it's from anywhere from 2010 right up through to 2013. So I don't know if they took the best of from 2010 to 2013 and put it on this disc. Uh, so this is from Hasbro Studios as well. Apologize about all the kids' titles. If you were looking for more serious stuff that's coming, I've just, I, like I said, I just grabbed randomness here. Uh, next up, I got another animated one. A lot of animation in this one. Not complaining. I love a lot of these. But I uh, would have liked a few more maybe serious ones here and there. Uh, next up is one called Two, Two Tales. Uh, Bob the Beaver and Max the Cat are an unlikely pair who become best friends when aliens land in the forest and abduct their fellow animal friends, Bob and Ma Max's friendship. Fears and fantasies are put to the test as they embark on a dangerous mission to another galaxy. Don't miss the wild and adventurous ride to outer space. This is a Viva Kids as well. Uh, 75 minutes on this one. Kind of repetitive with the Viva stuff here, guys. Sorry about that. But uh, once again, it's got that the four four window picture. You know, kind of almost like DVD options going on in these discs. I don't know if they all, if Viva designs all of their movies like that on the back, but it seems traditionally they do pretty much every one of their back covers with the setup like this, but I think that's kind of unique. I'm really happy to get this. I've seen uh, James get this, and I was like, I don't know if I'll end up finding it, but maybe if I can't, maybe he can find it for me. Um, it's the 8 film collection horror binge here. It has Devil Seed, uh, Hidden, Psychosis, Isolation, Beast Within, Parasomnia, which I think I already had on Blu-ray, Die, and a movie starring Dean Cain called Maneater. Give you a better look there. There's the back. Uh, 
I had to open this because I didn't know if it was running loose, but it's door action here, so so I assume there's four on one and four on the other, but covers are kind of basic here, which is a shame. I was hoping it might have a little bit of, you know, some kind of picture going on. Maybe take a four pictures of what's on here, kind of put one here, one here, you know, kind of like corner it up or whatever. Well, it's not a big whoop, but like I said, this is the horror binge, uh, eight horror movies, and that's for a dollar, so pretty happy about that. Three more here, and three three animated titles coming up. Uh, this definitely, this one I'm about to show you, really uh, kind of spoof, it looks like it's a spoof of uh, Pirates That Don't Do Anything, or whatever that movie was called. Uh, is a stop motion one. This one's called Seven Seas Pirates. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. I treasured life for me. Um, once again, Viva Pictures did this one. 80 minutes on this. Uh, not seeing a year. I think I had to look up the year online because I couldn't find a year on the back here. Sometimes when they go uh, with Roman numerals, I have no idea what they're what year that is because just when I think it's a certain year it's a year or two off <laughs> but uh this is a swashbuckling adventure aboard a pirate ship that turns into a battle for survival when Selkirk and puppy poopy or puppy I'm not sure <laughs> I think it's puppy puppy find themselves captive and marooned on a deserted island after the crew Steals their treasure map and discovers their true identities. But uh, I think I would have went with a different name for the other. I don't know if he's a sidekick, but <laughs> kind of a strange name to give a sailor. Or, you know, a kid destined to be a sailor or whatever. Uh, kind of a weird name either way. There's the back. Front end again, just in case the glare you couldn't see because of the glare. Looks, I've seen this, but I don't really remember much from it. And then I got one, uh, I think Jackie Chan does the voice in this one. Uh, Monkey King Hero is back, and this is dub approved. The legend begins. I did see this, I really like this. It's different. Uh, this is a Viva Entertainment one as well. Uh, official music video, Hands and Hearts by Amadi May, or Amity May. Uh, it's PG, 87 minute, minutes, uh, children's animation here. Uh, I'm assuming it got, a, you know, not a, not like a G rating, I'm assuming because of the darkness and, and uh, kind of like the fighting violence that goes on in this a little bit. I'm assuming those two factors probably brought it down to a PG. Uh, the all-powerful Monkey King uh, once roamed freely between heaven and earth, but after angering the gods, he was imprisoned with an, with an ice cage deep within the mountains. 500 years later, monsters attack a small village and a child flees to the mountains. Unknowingly, the child releases a Monkey King from his curse with the help and encouragement from this Special child Monkey King must now save the village from the evil mountain lord and his monstrous army. So, this is pretty good. I've seen this already. Seen it quite a few years ago now. Uh, it's from 2015. So, yes, uh, Jackie Chan does voiceover work as well. So, there ain't nothing this actor doesn't do, you know? He does comedy can do comedy type movies, he can do, you know, action adventure, which he, you know, revels in, because he's so good at it, and then he did this voiceover job here, I don't know if he's done other voiceover jobs and movies for kids, but, uh, there's Monkey King, closer look, and then finally, another kid's title here, uh, Stars uh, Emily Watson, Nick Frost, Jessica Brown Finley, Celia Emery, Catherine Tate, and Jason Isaacs. 
it's called Monster Family here. Kind of has like if uh, the monsters would have went animated. Personally, I think that would be a good idea. To, like they've had a number of Adams Family renditions. I don't know why the monsters couldn't do the same. I'd like to see it actually. It even has the monsters vibe on the back there. In my eyes, I honestly think that was what they were trying to, well, you know, plot point they were trying to go with. What if uh, the monsters were animated? Uh, the Wishbone family is far from happy with a struggling bookshop, an overworked husband, and two misunderstood teenagers. Emma is at her wits with ending, oh, uh, her wits ending, wits and end. Trying to be the perfect mom after dragging her family to a costume party on Halloween night, they are cursed by an evil witch and transform into a vampire, a mummy, a werewolf, and Frank Frankenstein's monster. Now Emma will fight to keep her monster family together and uncover the secret of their curse, eventually leading them to the Prince of Darkness himself, Dracula. But, uh, that... Is finally the last one in this video it's from 2017, uh, PG of course, and 95 minutes. And like I said, this really has the the monsters gone animated feel to it. Other than they were originally human, I guess, but were turned into this these uh, a mummy, Frankenstein, uh, a lady vamp, and uh. A little uh, kid werewolf here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, even has like a Bartok character up here. So, but that concludes what I got more of. And I still got plenty of more. I still got to log in some in a box over there with the flaps sitting up. I still have to log those all in. But yesterday I spent a lot of my time logging in a lot of the movies I got and it's pretty productive on that so once I get them all logged in I'll be caught up finally and I'm not sure what I'm going to do another video it's going to be at least not tomorrow but the next day and I'm not sure if I might take a day off to do um, a horror pack unboxing which I just got and I don't if I don't do that eventually I ain't gonna get to it so I'll probably do a horror pack unboxing and then get back to the Dollar Tree uh, videos and then once I get those kind of caught up I'll probably do a uh, reviews for a little bit because I don't honestly see myself going back every week of the Dollar Tree sale because that's just too much money to spend every week you know I just don't have it when I got a two-year-old <clears throat> two-year-old and I got bills and stuff like that and I don't want to you know run up so much cost for movies that we don't pay the important bills like electricity and you know and diapers and things like that kind of have to draw a limit in the sand after a while but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in a couple days. Not sure what kind of video it's going to be for right now. I'll know more by tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching and thank you for taking in Gary's Movie Aporium. And I hope everybody's safe out there from the holiday travel. And, and I'll see you again, guys. See you later. Bye.